external part of the skull and the anterior part of the skull, we're going to investigate first the maxilla a little bit more. That's this bone right here. And there are a couple of features we need to know about it. We need to know the infraorbital foramina. There are two of them. So one is a foramen. The two infraorbital foramina are right here. And we also have these alveolar processes. This is where the teeth come out. So an alveolar process is where a tooth comes out. On the front of the skull, you can also see a bone called the vomer. That's this one here. And you can also see it from the rear as well, right here. But you have also part of the ethmoid bone that is visible in the nose, and it's called the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. And it's sort of the top part, and the vomer and the perpendicular plate come together inside. Another thing you can see very nicely from the outside of the skull, looking into the orbits of the eyes, once again, you can see the superior orbital fissure here, the inferior orbital fissure here, superior orbital fissure, inferior orbital fissure, looking into the orbits of the eyes. Now let's go back to the temporal bone for a second, because when we examine the mandible, you see that it comes, makes a joint here, with the temporal bone, and this is the mandibular fossa, which makes sense because that's where the mandible makes contact with it. And if we examine the mandible, we can see this is the mandibular condyle. And this condyle is what makes contact and articulates with the mandibular fossa of the temporal bone. And if we look at this top part here, we have the mandibular notch where I've got my finger, and we have the coronoid process. This part is called the ramus of the mandible. This part is called the body of the mandible. And as in the maxilla, where we have teeth coming out, we have alveolar processes. So each one of these is an alveolar process. We have the mental foramen right here. There are two of them, one on each side. And we also have one on the interior surface, and that is the mandibular foramen, and there's one on each side. And so that is the mandible.